My name is Dayana Minchel, and we have been attending Trinity for about two years. Um, I'm currently 18 years old, and I just kind of wanted to share my story. So in 2018, I was diagnosed with alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune disease, um, which is basically where your blood cell, your white blood cells attack your hair follicle because it thinks it's hurting your body, so it makes your hair fall out. So when I was 14 years old, I started losing all my hair. Um, about a year into it, I was completely bald, um, had seen lots of doctors and just wasn't really getting any answers out of it. And I finally came to the point where I was like, well, if this is who God wants me to be, then this is just who I'm gonna be. He has a plan that's bigger for me than what I can see right now. Um, and being a girl, losing your hair, is hard, I mean, for anybody, um, but it just feels like a piece of you that just kind of goes away. Um, and it went from what I was most confident about to being my biggest insecurity. And I was always wondering, oh, can this person tell that I'm wearing a wig or can they not? And that consumed my life. And it really, it took me away from what I really needed to be focusing on, which was my walk with God and pursuing him and instead it pushed me away from him um, and took me to some pretty dark places which I hope I never go back to um, but also through this process it's brought me a lot closer to him and helped me with my relationship and helped me to see that he has a bigger plan than what we can see and taking faith steps they're hard they're scary but if we don't take that step then we're never going to get anywhere and so today I'm here to take my faith step and get baptized. I've been wanting to get baptized for a long time, but my hair is what's been keeping me from doing it. But today I'm finally here saying that I'm not gonna let it stop me from following my walk with Christ and from doing what he's calling me to do because like I said, he has bigger plans for us and we can't let the little things stop us because we're strong, we're beautiful, and God sees that and um, he loves us no matter what we look like on the outside it's what's about on the inside I guess I would just encourage you guys by no matter how hard life gets no matter what struggles you have to keep pursuing the Lord and to not stop because he's the only one that can help you through anything you're going anything that you're going through or that's hard um, we all have hard times in our lives that are difficult, but we need to lean on God and put our faith and trust in Him as much as we possibly can.